Hey folks, I'm doing a video here on my little small off-grid system that I run my deep freeze with and my uh, stereo. Just something to play around with. I love my solar and wind. It's just a small little off-grid system. Um, this is a ProStar 15. Works great. Good little PWM charge controller by Morningstar. Excellent. And there's my baby box. Big baby box that I put my, put my breaker in. And here's my Santrax Pure Sound Wave 2000 watt inverter. Works great. It's called the Xantrax Pro Watt. And I got my two batteries down there. Two batteries down there. And I got my connections, my negative connections covered up. And those are two AGM. Two, two universal AGM batteries connected in parallel. They give me a total of 180 amp hours. Each one are each one of them is 90 amp hours a piece. Works great. And over here, I got my my 250 amp breaker. Come from a battery bank to my uh, charge controller. That way, I can disconnect the battery bank or you know, protect my inverter. And this is a nice inverter. It was about, I think it was like $360. Got it on eBay, brand new. And Xantrax makes good products. That's a good inverter. Um, not cheap in, but not high in, but in between. Get the it'll get the job done. And it's got GFCI, ground circuit fault interrupters on it. But I'm going to cut it on. Let me turn on this stereo. And this is like this is an old school. This old school stereo system. It's a. Hmm, I'll get the focus in, y'all. Sorry about that. Yeah, there you go. It's a Pioneer SX twenty three hundred. We turn down the volume. Now, who knows what come up on that thing? I'm turning my inverter on, and it's about twelve thirty in the afternoon. And I barely just turn it on. Just to give you a general idea of what it's burning. What it's using for power 3.3 amps. Plus I have my uh, uh, solar, all my solar fans from my shop. They keep the power shop um, uh, nice and cool. I got that all it's, that's one of my load connection right there. And that's where my 12 volt plugs come in. And on the other side also. But 3.2 solar amps. Now to crank the power up. Yeah. So I crank the power up. You can see the solar amps raise up. Um, so there we go. Just cooking up the power. Alright. Turn that off. Um, because I can't have music on here. <laughs> so anyway, uh yeah, copyright stuff. Yeah, but she's doing a kick butt job. Inverter doesn't and a pure sign inverter actually burns less power than a modified sine wave. If I'm wrong about that. Y'all correct me, but they're supposed to be more efficient and better on your electronics and stuff like that. But yeah, I added another solar panel the other day. I just figured I'd share it with you. And it's putting out some good power. But anyway. <clears throat> but let's go here. See here. Um. I'll show you out here, man. I got a mess. Oh gosh, a mess everywhere. Just trying to get 
some stuff done and all that good junk. Here's my top city. I got my refrigerator, my deep freeze. <laughs> my refrigerator is underneath my tarps, my gas cans. My deep freeze is over there. Got my daughter's little tractor. Getting the garage built. And you see where my John Deere's at? That's right here. Oh yeah, up underneath my lean to. This guy got enough room. Then I got my bullet box up there. And these are my Bose speakers, y'all. My outdoor speakers. So when I'm working, I got some. Um, I got some good uh, sounds to listen to. That's some other Bose speaker, outdoor speakers. Yeah, man, you gotta have music. But I got speakers throughout my whole my whole shop, power shop. Do nothing wrong. With, I like to jam out when I'm working on stuff. That's me. <laughs> and there's the 40 watt. That's going to the small off grid system, right here, right here. That's one. That's one 40 watt panel. It's 135 watts total. My little small system. And I put me a quick release clamp. And I got my midnight solar um, surge protector. But right here is my my combiner box. And there's the little chart. Awesome. Awesome. Don't ever put a solar system up without a combiner box. This makes it very helpful. Yep. Takes a lot of the guesswork away, plus your system is protected. And I'll go ahead and put this back. Yeah, quick access, you know. I got a screw that also goes in there too, but this is like a, you can either put a lock here, a lock or a, some way we're going to get quick access and it's still waterproof, water resistant. Alright, I'm going to show you the new solar panel I'll put up. Now I'm going to see this. Um, this is my little array I have. Right here. Uh, excuse me, y'all. That's a new 35 watt I put up right there. And maybe some custom made brackets for it. Got it screwed down. Silicone, real good. There's my other, like a 10 watt. That's a 35 watt. That's a 10 watt. That's a 20 watt. It's another 20 watt, and that's a 10 watt at the very top. So 10 and 20 is 30, and a 20 is 50, and a 10 and a 35 is 45. So 45 and 20, I'll be 65, 20, 85, and 10, 95 watts I have up on the roof. And the reason why I got the 40 water there, and that's just that's just off grid right there. Well, the little small off grid, so some other, those others off grid and on grid. But anyway, uh, and a 40 watt panel. So that gives me a total of 135 watts of power, and that's my other one because that catches a lot of sun during the day, especially in the um, winter and spring and the fall. When the sun angle is down, or the you know the earth tilted. All right, well that's what I want to show you. And what I run my uh, 12 volt appliances. Uh, I have I have a, tw a 12 volt fan up in there for to get rid of the hot air in the summertime from my you know from the sh shop being so hot. And I run, also run this um, hot air. Um, solar solar thermal collector, solar air heater. With that, and I'll show you the DC plugs. A little quick update, y'all. On my system, I love messing with it. I, I guess I'll never be done with solar and wind, but it's all good. And here, it's a hot one in here today. Um. It is 
There's 75 degrees in here now. Um, in my shop, but here you go. Here's my DC plugs. Let me turn some light on the subject. My DC plugs coming from the other side also. And there's my other DC plug that I have my um, solar air heater connected to. And up there is a tornado, Vantech tornado uh, solar uh, fan. I can plug in to suck some of this hot air out of here. And we're good, y'all. But anyway, I just want to share that with y'all. But this is KVSMC. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one. Y'all come back here. Here. Y'all come back here, y'all. <laughs> I just messed. All right. Well, well thank you for watching, y'all. And uh, I just had to update on my system. Man, I can't keep this camera still. But I'm getting. I'm getting there. All right. Y'all take care. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. All right. Bye bye.